Ash here backstage with Jordan of As I Lay Dying. And I have a special guest with me. Hi, I'm Vicky. She's just a step in from jo for Joe at the moment. But let's get to the real important stuff. Jordan, what's up? Nothing. Just hanging out. Chilling. Just chilling. <laughs> Alright, so <laughs> tonight's the second night of the tour? Yes, yeah. Second How'd night. last night go? Really well. Really yeah. Well. Yeah, you know, it's. First shows, you always have a lot of little, you know, little kinks to work out, you know, but by the second show, usually all this stuff's taken care of, so looking forward to that show tonight, for sure. Yeah. It's been a while since we've been at the Trocadero, so it's a venue that we, you know, we played for many years, you know, so we're excited to be, be back, you know, rocking out Philly, so. Rocking out Philly. How many times have you been here? Uh, four, maybe? Five? I don't know. Okay. Yeah, at least track. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. big and... Yeah, yeah, I got lost. So. Yeah, you know, like, uh, you know, bands like like us and like our peers and stuff, you know, just kind of circulate like very, you know, same venues over and over again, you know. So sometimes it becomes a blur. But, uh, but yeah, no, I, I mean, I love the truck there, so it's a great. Yeah, it's okay. good to get the familiar faces back in. Yeah, so, definitely. tell us about the new album. What EP? But. Uh, yeah, Decus. Yeah, it's it's basically like a compilation. You know, it's um, just a lot of a lot of things that we wouldn't normally do on a, on a full length and uh, I mean we figured being that it is our 10 year anniversary mm -hmm. we could uh, you know do something a little out of the ordinary you know for our fans like you know um, that uh, I guess care to listen to it so you know it's got three originals it's got four covers um, and then some remixes done by other artists so um, yeah no, we thought it came out great you know it's a lot of cool stuff you know like just interesting stuff so, definitely yeah so how'd you pick the remakes? Um, well, uh, you know, I wasn't really uh, too familiar with like uh, remix artists, and um, so we just talked to some of our friends and uh, some of the people that work with us, and got got a, a bunch of names, and went online and checked out some of their stuff, and you know, and obviously talked to them about it, and just you know picked the people that were you know the most professional and the most into doing the remix, and. Uh, yeah, and then we kind of just let them do what they wanted to do. You know, there was a couple of songs where we had some notes, uh, but nothing major. You know, we want it's it's their representation of our old, of our songs. So mm -hmm. you know, we didn't want to mess with it too much. So that's cool. Yeah. What um, song do you think means the most to you on this album that you really like? Or it's tough. Um, I don't know. I like. I guess it was fun to record the uh, the cover songs. Um, I, I, don't, I don't think there's one in particular that like I, I you know I favor, but uh, you know it's the first time we've done that, um, and uh, it was you know just kind of fun like learning other people's songs and you know some some more than others you know uh, ended up with I guess an Asley dying twist on them and you know some are more true to the original recordings, but um, yeah it was fun just learning other people's parts, you know, and kind of getting me out of my own bubble, you know. Yeah. What you're used to. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's awesome. So, if we were to pull up your lyrics, where does the influence come from with all of them? Um, that would be a singer question, because I don't write lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have an idea? Well, I, I mean, you know, the, the lyrics come from personal experience, you mm -hmm. know, and just a lot of... Uh, I guess uh, personal topics, social topics, uh, uh, spiritual topics, you know, and just kind of whatever, whatever, uh, you know, uh, strikes him at the moment when he's writing. So. So it's completely um, on him, not the band. Yeah, school. yeah. I mean, you know, if there's, uh, I mean, any major issues, you know, we'll talk about. It. I mean, it's always presented before it's recorded, you know. So yeah. Yeah. If anybody has any major major issues with anything, you know, we'll we'll talk about it and discuss it. And, Teamwork. Sort it out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, it's like nothing. We everything that goes on the record, you know, is supported by everyone in the band, and obviously, the writing process is there to get us to that point. You know, cause obviously, not everyone is gonna like every single idea we yeah. all have. You know, so it's just making a record is about uh, making all five of us happy. So, which is you know difficult, but um, you know that's what makes good music. It's just. Uh, uh, creative tension and creative differences, you know, but all being able to be on the same page and, you know, create something that everybody's happy with. So. Definitely. Yeah. So if you weren't a rock star today, what would you be? Tough question. I, don't know. <laughs> I you know, you, you just never know where life takes you. Um, 
I, I, I uh, just recently, well, I went back to school um, about three years ago, four years ago, and just recently got my associates and then uh, uh, in uh, social behavioral sciences. So I would probably end up doing something in the field of psychology, maybe clinical uh, psychology. That's cool. Nice. Congratulations. Well, thank you. Yeah. I want to go back. I'm gonna get. I want to get my master's. Um, but. Uh, yeah, you know, it's kind of enjoying not going to school right now because uh, yeah, I yeah. just I just graduated like in the summer, so <laughs> it's kind of nice not to have to worry about doing homework and taking tests and stuff, especially while on the road. So I'm kind of yeah. enjoying that. Did you do it online or you actually went online, to the? Yeah. yeah. There's a couple of classes I did on campus, but most of it was online. Was that difficult with you being the rock star, or did they like? I mean, not necessarily the rock star, but just you know, being like traveling a lot, you know, yeah. and uh, just finding time to do it and. Um, you know, I mean, finding internet and stuff like that is a little difficult, you know, like, especially when you're taking a test and your, yeah, your internet yeah. connection is not too, <laughs> too good. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah, no, I mean, you know, I, I really enjoy learning and um, I enjoy the subject, so, uh, you yeah, know, it's, it's, it wasn't, like, insanely difficult, you know, mm -hmm. it was just, if you love something, it's, it makes it a lot easier. So. Definitely. Yeah. When did you start playing drums? Uh, I was, I was like about 13 when I actually got my first kit, yeah. Um, it was a Christmas gift from my, my, my dad and my mom, so I was pretty stoked. <laughs> and how so, many bands were you in before this? Uh, let's see, one, two, three, you can three, three or four, <laughs> I don't know, yeah, three or four bands. Um, yeah, so yeah, well, too, when Tim and I started this band, uh, you know, we had, I, I was in like a, a band before that, um, and then while we were doing this band, like in the earlier years, both him and I were playing in this band, Point of Recognition, and this band, Thieves and Liars, so we, at, you know, simultaneously had three projects, all, wow. all the same projects going at once, you know, but that, you know, we, we weren't as active as we were now, but, you know, it got to the point where, like, you know, Asley Dime was, uh, you know, uh, you know, getting busier and stuff, so it was, you know, we wanted to focus all of our attention on this. So. That's awesome. Yeah. Obviously, it got you somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely can't complain. You know? I mean, we never really expected you know, uh, to have this long of a career. I guess we never really thought about it. There was never like, all right, we want to make it 10 years, we want to make it 20 years. It was just, we want to play music that we love and, you know, do the best of our ability and try to make the best decisions we can, mm -hmm. you know, and so um, that's the way we've always done it. You know, I guess continue to do it. Yeah. What do you think is um, some of the music that influences you personally with your ideas and your thoughts? And uh, it's all over the place, really. Um, I mean, listen from anything like, you know, Testament to like Frank Sinatra, you know. It, wow. it just, it, it's all over the board, and I think for everybody it is. You mm -hmm. know, I think you know, some people want to just listen to metal constantly, which is cool, but, you know, I like to hear, you know, different things, you know. I mean, I'm a... I'm a I'm a moody, moody mu music lover, you know, like, if the mood strikes me, I'll listen to something, you know, yeah. so I don't like to be confined to one genre. <laughs> I know exactly how that is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's like, you know, music is, it can be so many things, you know, and strike up so many things within you, you know, and I think, yeah, it's, to me, I listen to music based on mood, you know. And, Definitely. You know, yeah. So, if you were to pull your iPod out right now, what were the first three tracks that we would sing? I don't know. Well... Probably one of our songs because I was last time I used my iPod we were warming up. <laughs> we were well, we actually we played uh, uh, we, we played like uh, two songs that I you know I, we hadn't played in four years or so. Oh wow! So I was actually going over those last night before the set. <laughs> yeah, so it's just kind of that's like riding a bike though. Once you kind of get back on, it's, like, it kind of comes back to you, you know. So is yeah. it weird listening to yourself? I mean, yeah, I mean. Not really. I mean, it's like, I mean, I definitely have a different perspective when I listen mm -hmm. like, to our music. It's, it's, I know it's me and I know something, you know, we created together and, uh, you know, so there's that, but it's not really weird. I mean, I, I listen to it, uh, you know, fairly often because, you know, I warm up to it, you know. Yeah. I have a warm-up routine that I, I, I do before each show, so, um, yeah. That's cool. Thank you. All right. So, what is the main influence of the band? What do you guys want to put out as a message? Um, I don't know if there's necessarily one particular message. I, I think that um, 
you know, we we try to uh, shed light on topics that uh, I guess are current. You know, some can be older topics, you know, historical topics, uh, philosophical, spiritual. Like like I said, like it's kind of mm -hmm. it's, it's it's all over the place. But uh, yeah, I, mean, I think for us, like as like a mission, like you know, we want to we want to play music that we love, but we also want um, you know people to think. You know, we want people to ask questions and. Um, I guess they, they put thought into their actions, they put thought into like, their beliefs, and um, um, yeah, I, mean, I think that's really all you can ask for, you know, we're not, gonna, we're not like a senior preaching band, um, but we're, we're also, uh, I guess, I don't want to say opinionated, but uh, no, we're, we're very passionate about, you know, the messages that we bring to our fans, you know, and, mm -hmm. uh, not all of them are going to look into it, but, you know, we hope that they do, and, uh, um, yeah, just, you know, what people think a little bit, <laughs> so, it's kind of try to stir, stir a little bit of thought, you know, in individuals' lives. So, with the future for As I Lay Dying, what do you guys want to accomplish? Uh, I don't know, I mean, we're just going to continue what, we, what we're doing right now, you know, we're going to be, uh, you know, progressing, um, as musicians, like, like we always have and always want to do, um, but uh, yeah, I, mean, I think you, we're not, we don't try to focus too far into the future. You know, I, I think uh, you know you look too far into the future, you look too far in the past, and you end up stuck. You know, it's it's That's a good uh, point. Yeah, I mean, I think it's it's about taking things as they come. You know, and trying to uh, you know. This is Ash checking out here. Catch you guys on the flip side.